Uh, here's some Jeopardy trivia for you this morning, and this is the answer. This tech giant spent $30 million building a computer to compete on Jeopardy. The question? What is IBM? But perhaps the more important question is, what is in it for Big Blue? And John Ehrlichman has the answer, John. Betty, over the next three nights, you'll be able to watch Watson, the supercomputer that IBM built, named after the founder, Thomas Watson, go head-to-head -head with some ex-Jeopardy champs like Ken Jennings, the guy who had that 74-game winning streak. And you mentioned this was costly. It took a lot of time. So investors might want to know why they would do it. Well, it's not going to boost IBM's earnings in the next couple of quarters or anything like that, but it is a chance for them to flex their intellectual muscle. IBM was dominating the conversation 15 years ago when its deep blue computer beat Gary Kasparov, the chess champion, and now it has a chance to dominate the conversation again. Instead of talking about anticipating moves on the chessboard, now we talk about knowing the English language so well that you can go up against the best guys who have played Jeopardy ever and do pretty well. Man against machine. Yes. Uh, but could this boost the stock price of IBM? Some people actually think it could. Uh, look, the reality for IBM is since they got out of the PC business a while back, it has been very difficult for the company to stay in the conversation. You were just talking about Apple and the iPad. There's a look at the stocks of each uh, of these two companies over the last 10 years. Because Apple is always in your face, and for a lot of average investors, that actually excites them. So maybe if you're back on TV on Jeopardy, people will get the IBM story once again. Maybe they'll be more interested in it versus an Oracle or an Intel. And even if Watson doesn't do that well over the next couple of nights, that could still be good news for IBM, because we'll all be talking about how a computer lost to a couple of humans. <laughs>